Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode four of season two of Loki. Last episode, we spent plenty of time back in time looking for Victor Time Lee while also keeping time with a timed making clock who is kind of insane, as we have learned. <laughs> oh my God. That reveal at the end of the last episode was wild. Lads, the way that took a turn. We sort of glitching out over that mannequin was like, why did you never give me a body? Oh my lord, that was some creepy stuff, man. But it was such a wild and fun episode, dude. We got we got Victor, we got our variant, we're bringing him back to the TVA. Sylvie, thankfully, kind of turned around in, a, in her moment and resisted actually taking him out once she kind of realized that she is now in the position that Ravona was in when she was hunted down, when she saw this, this variant who had yet to become the person that they had feared that she was hunting, and that was exactly what she was when they came for her as a child. She'd not yet done anything. They had decided her life's fate for her and was judging her on that, and that's what she was doing. She held herself back, let them take him away, and then she turned to Ravona, and again, in a moment of growth and kind of reflection, also didn't get a revenge on her, but instead gave her a bit of twisted justice and exactly what she's always wanted, a seat beside the man, the myth, the legend himself, and she booted her ass right back to the end of time so that she can rest there in eternity beside his corpse. Or at least that's what she would think. But she's there with Miss Minutes, who have both been scorned by this variant. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you've got a memorable channel, it gets you access as well. It's a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes of a reaction the entire episode. Over there, you also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We've got monthly Q&As, behind scenes footage, try to make it worth your while since you are going to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, to at least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really does help out these videos. And with that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode four. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is different. Oh, wow. That was nifty. Hearing the echoes of the timeline as then they reach the end as it's fraying apart. What is this? Just watch. Oh. So it's almost ready. Whoa. You are quite a marvel. I will be proud to lead with you. You made a difference in this war. Thank you for being on my team. The TVA awaits our commands. Mm. Shall we go? I'll catch up. The long mm. Way. Mm. See you soon. And his work begins. Hey, boss. Fancy mm. a game of chess? Not today. Pull up protocol 42. Is it time? Oh. Erase her memories. Are you sure? Oh, wow. Erase all their memories. If you say so. That explains that. Both for her and the others. I'm sorry. Order 66. <laughs> Their memories. I helped win. You didn't just help. It was you who commanded the army. So he built this little tower. And while he sat on his throne, I continued to do all the work to keep him there. Well, something like that. E wow. <laughs> she was not wrong about that making her angry. That's so shitty. Mm. <laughs> Quite the perfect place to have him pop out in, right? Why'd they send him in alone? Where'd they go? Are they just hanging back? <laughs> Hello. There they are. What do you want with me? Come with us. I will show you. That didn't sound as reassuring as you hoped it would. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, friend. The shadiocracy capital of the world. I don't trust anyone. Or 
world, it's a party. Hello. Mm. The more the merrier. <laughs> you all want me. Ms. Ravona wants me, the effervescent clock lady monster thing. I don't know. But we're kind of running out of time. We could talk about it after. Be glad to. Plenty of time after that. So I built all of this. Or I did well. Or I will. And mm. I will. <laughs> or I will. And I did. Victor. This is Casey and OB. Aww. Ouroboros. <laughs> Got a little fangasm there for a second. You wrote the TVA handbook. Yes, I did. But I learned everything I know from a brilliant 19th century inventor named Victor Timely. If we had the resources, it would have been bigger than Einstein. Damn. Ooh. There it is. The circle. So if your work is based on his work and his work is based on your work, exactly which came first? It's like a snake eating its own tail. Mr. Oh, Orr, it's like your name. <laughs> inscribe my, my handbook. Oh, it's an autograph. Oh, this is interesting, dude. Guys, sorry to mm. break up this romance, but can we fix now and sign later? Here's a model I mocked up with the loop. We give the shoddy and slapdash work. Uh, it's not to scale. I'm honestly embarrassed that Victor is here to see it. Mm. No. One of us will have to take our throughput multiplier down the gangway and launch it towards the loom. It will dock with the loom where it will scale the loom's capacity to manage the backlog of branches that was created when someone killed he who remains and released all those branches and ruined my life. Hey, what's the connection between the throughput multiplier and the loom? The oh. There is much much more temporal radiation out here than there was when you went out there, Mobius. Yeah, so much more. Mm. Yes. Oh no. I mean, Loki's really gonna have to hoof it then, right? <laughs> Wait a second, why is, it, why is it suddenly me having to He did it, it the first time. It's your turn. <laughs> it's your turn. Great, so what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Didn't he kind of come up with his own plan, like on his way here when he was thinking about it? None of this is gonna, he's gonna come up with something to throw all this out. I had the same problem with my loom until I made this. It's a prototype. Will it work? Integrating them, if that would even work, would take a long time. Yeah, a long time. If anyone can, it's you. See, he's got the ideas and he's got the tech that he needs to put it together. They're a great little companionship here, because that's the only thing that he was lacking was the equipment and the technology. While we wait. Oh, the elevator. Look who's getting in it. What is the matter with you? You dragged me back here begging for help. So you must have some idea of what's happening. Everything is turning to shit. <laughs> and you want to leave it to them while we go and have some pie. <laughs> Great idea, maybe. So you wait. No, I won't wait. Come on, let's go and get some pie. Why not? It's a great idea. It doesn't matter that the branches are dying. Clocks don't tick at the TVA, do they? You found out you're a variant and you haven't even looked, have you? It's just another bad day at the office for you. Timelines are just lines on a monitor. It doesn't matter if you disappear because you've never bothered to look if one of them was yours. Who cares if a few just disappear? Mm, she makes a very good point, but that goes back to what he was talking about before. It's a level of disconnect as well. I don't want to die in here. Oh, oh really? Well, it seemed like you gave up when you sold out our plan. I didn't know you knew that. Oh, yes. <laughs> we all know about your escapades as an actor, Brad. I earned my life. Don't you think you earned your life? No! I really love this, this philosophical struggle we have right now. I took a wrong turn. <laughs> she ended up here anyway. That's gotta be so infuriating. About Mobius, he's just trying to see in the dark like the rest of us. And so we're clear. I asked for your help and you walked away. I'm here, aren't I? Again! You're only here because you couldn't kill him. 
Yeah, I couldn't kill him. Time he just looked so scared. He who remains wasn't scared. Or maybe he was, and I just didn't notice. Oh, that's a good haunting thought to bring into your own mind right there. Some years ago, my brother was banished from Asgard, and when he came back, he was different. I thought it was weakness that he'd gone soft. Soft girl she killed. Listen, Sylvie, you spared Tiny's mm. life, and because of that, the TVA and those timelines will survive. Those people will survive. You spared their lives too. You're putting a lot of faith in those three back there. Don't forget Docs. She's part of the TVA. All those dead branches, those dead people. What about those branches that are still living? What about the ones she herself destroyed to lure them out in the season one? Annihilating is easy. Raising things to the ground is easy. Trying to fix what's broken is hard. Hope is hard. Wow. He's come a long way, dude. You can't give people free will and then just walk away, Sylvie. That's not how it works. Now, for better or for worse, the timelines are free. It's up to us to protect them. It's up to us to do better than he who remains. No. Oh. Sounds like whatever we do, we're playing God. No more than like the Avengers do on Earth. It's just a different scale. We are gods. Damn. <laughs> we need a, a backup plan. We need something else. B-15 has integrity. I don't need to agree with her to know that. You know, I don't trust B-15, so I... Um... Shit. Anyone who joins me right here, follows me out that door, and helps me restore stability to the TVA, will have a life on the timeline if they want it. I thought you could see the bigger picture. Oh no. The first time I finally am seeing the bigger picture. Please stop. You made a rather impressive life for yourself on the timeline. Don't you want it back? X5. Bradley. No. <laughs> Look at me. Life on the timeline is that good, huh? Wow. Knowing that all of us here would rather die. And follow you out that door. You psycho little clock. Wow. No, we didn't see it, but that was some metal shit, man. That was fucked up. Oh, the dripping. Damn, these two, dude. What is that? This little Mobius picked me up, courtesy of the hot cocoa machine. Did you say hot co cocoa machine? machine? Yeah. This temp pad's not working. <laughs> yeah. About this uh, hot co cocoa machine, could I take a look? Can you sit tight for just a second? I can take him. Can you? Okay, Professor, he'll take you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And he's gonna be with just that single guy. And they're gonna. They're gonna. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. You fucker, dude! Oh my god! They just came out, dude. It's gonna be pretty hot. <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Oh, Brad! You, god damn it, Brad. Where's the device? Mm. This is frustrating, man. She's taking control of all the systems. Uh, uh, uh. Didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong? Oh, oh yep. Gone. That's where they're gonna. That's where they're gonna have to go prune Loki. I haven't had time to test it, but without timing, it doesn't matter. Without his aura, I can't open the blast doors. We're locked. Okay, well, we gotta find him. They took him back to the timeline. Renslayer doesn't want him. She wants the TVA. They're still here. Sit. Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> God, you're both okay, <laughs> Ms. Ravona. Oh, sit down. Sitting down. You're gonna tell us where to find your device. If you don't like what I have to tell you, then X5 here is gonna find a very thorough and incredibly painful way to kill you. You know, he could have gotten this if he had just sided with them too, man. I don't even think they would have opposed him resigning. Uh, yeah, that don't look good, man. Yep. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, yep. It's her in front, and he gets himself in the back. Try to slow us down. Take the stairs. And that's how he gets behind himself. What even is her plan to take this over as it explodes? Like, she, has, she hasn't presented any plan of stopping the meltdown. Oh yeah, who even called this phone? I completely forgot about the phone. Yep. This will make sense. <gasps> Who the hell called to even lead him this way? Because it seems so intentional. Hello? About time. Oh! <laughs> you guys so long. Be. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Could take her offline if I reboot the system. But we'll lose the entire safety system. So what? What are we gonna lose? The security protocols will go down. Like what? The dampeners that prevent people from using magic at the TVA. We would have to turn that off too. Oh! Turn yeah! Do that! Give them their powers here! The Infinity Stones, even! That they got collecting. Someone's trying to reboot the system. I can't, can't, can't access it. I'm being locked out. Lo lo locked out. Yes. Victor, I need to tell you. Tell, tell you. You'll never be him. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Hi, I'm Miss Minutes, and the ta 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 I guess that was like her first rendition. You just have to find new ways to make her even more of a nightmarish little AI entity, man. I'm sorry, Brad, but you're gonna you're gonna have to get some recompense, man. You're gonna have to get. We need to we need to talk. Dampeners are off, boy. Let's see that green glow. Ooh. What do you say X5. Fancy a rematch. All the shadows. He's been charmed. I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. <laughs> oh! What's away with us? This way, out of it. You saved my life. It's time for you to return. What? Uh. Oh my God! I have to imagine 
that we'll see what I was talking about before. There's no way that's the end for her. She'll be back at the Citadel with Eliath and all that stuff or something. I don't know. And there it is, that answers the, uh, that con that confirms it. What we've been talking about. We have to move fast. Who's it gonna be? I'll do it. Oh. Wait, it should be me. No, you don't have to do this. Something wrong could happen. And I know how the throughput multiply works. Time to be brave. No. <laughs> Can we not, can we cast him a, a speed buff? Just give him a little boost. <laughs> There's no way they get it there then. Temporal radiation is just too high. What did we do wrong? I don't know. What happened? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the world? This music. Oh my God. That was a one, like for, for this show, that was a really dark episode. Like not just the theoretical ex, like existential stuff of the dead timelines. That's another thing on a whole other level to talk about. Like that goes that back and forth with Sylvie and Loki in the pie room. I loved that scene. That was such a great, one, it shows how far Loki's come, but also just how much she cares about everything that's going on out there and her fear of where this power could lead. And all he can say is like, from what he's observed, we can just try to do better. Now that we've just handed free will to these worlds and unraveled everything, we, ha we have to try to protect them from whatever comes next, whether it be he who remains variants, Ravona, whoever. This is now our responsibility. And it just shows this massive growth for Loki. But then you have X5, Bradley, turning on the rest of his hunters to Dox even, who, again, while they were on opposite sides, everything she was doing was try to save the, and protect the TVA and what they were doing. And she recognized that. And, you know, even having seen what this means to people and had these interactions with B-15, and even though she might not be wholly on board, she respects her enough to trust what she's now saying to her after what they've seen and what they've experienced. The only the hunter that got to live a life on the timeline that betrayed them all. But at the end of the day, like had he sided with, I didn't realize I still had these on, that he, he I, I really think that if he sided with B-15, with Mobius, with everybody else, they just kind of like gloss over his transgressions and give him back his life, you know? I don't know why he felt the need to side with Ravona, given everything that they know, everything that happened. I mean, Doc's, Clearly, it just it just shows that he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, man. Again, while we didn't see it, just the thought experiment it creates in your brain. And that's like the one of those old, you know, uh, movie tricks, man. Sometimes it is better to not show us the horror. What we would see on screen nine times out of ten probably wouldn't even live up to what we were thinking, what we imagined. And the things going through my head when that when we we saw the crunchy crunch happening, the thing compacting, and we hear the crunching, the screaming, the gooshes. Whoo, there's no way in hell Disney or Marvel would show that, what was going on up in here. Oh my God. And then there's just the lingering dripping of the blood of the viscera after the fact. That was some good, that was a good messed up sequence. And then the fact that in order to get 
while Miss Middix locked them out and she was in the system, they were like, okay, our, what, we, what can we do? She's locking us out of everything. If we just reboot everything, that turns her off and cuts her out. And also, we lose the dampeners that block out all magic within the TVA. And they're like, hell yeah, turn that off! Boot that murder clock down! And then, oh, that when they lured him out into the shadow. Hell yeah. I like that too, because it kind of alludes back to when he chased him the first time down through the alley and his shadows are what got him when he was running from them in episode two. And then here, it was a distraction to get Sylvie to get up and she enchants him, sends him in there. And then she prunes, she prunes Ravona. That was wild. Talking about that, Let's go back to Miss Minutes for a hot minute when she was re in the process of rebooting and she's cycling through these and glitching out as she's trying to like force herself to to cling to being active so she can say her last words to this he who remains variant. All of it boiling down to you'll never be him. E. She's so psychotic, man. Did you see the look on her face when those people were just being smooshed? God, man. But... Like, I love, like, the broken, robotic, like, then she had the red eye and the torn mechanical structure, and then it went all the way back to what I can only presume is, like, the earliest version of her when she was just a simple animated clock before she fizzled out. Beautifully haunting sequence. Loved that. And just timely and his fascination with all this, him fanboying over Ouroboros and Ouroboros fanboying over him and their share, shared notes and how they are part of this loop of creation for the TVA and these designs. It was so well done. And their interactions, man. Jonathan Majors is giving a really damn good performance here. I love what he's doing in this. And the, the, just the little moments, like because of where he comes from, the time period he's from, even like the simplest thing, because he's a curious mind. When he saw, you know, that little hot cocoa that Mobius came in, he was like, what's that? Oh, it's from the hot cocoa machine. You have a machine for that? Can I see it? He's got this fascination, this curiosity, and like just wanted to see that and then share it with, with, I forget his name, the guy that was escorting him that uh, X5 evaporated. That got me, man. That, that like, hurt my soul. Especially, I do, I feel so bad after all of this that in a moment of heroism, in the moment uh, where he's, like, putting his life on the line, because even with Ravona and everything up until this point, he's just kind of, like, he sided with whatever would get him through the situation, but this one. He was like, I know this machine, this concept, better than anyone. If I go out there, if something goes wrong, no one, none of you are going to know how to improvise or think on your feet on how to fix it. I got to go out there. But my Lord, when he instantly spaghettified, oh my Lord, not the sh beyond the shock of that happening, I was just sad too, as they all probably were because they put sent him out there entrusted with this they put all of their faith in that basket and he he was hopeful this was just his the 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 childlike wonder of being in this place he could only see in his dreams and then just in a moment gone that was messed up and talking about full circle moments coming back to that seeing the phone ringing the reveal of who was on the phone Oh my God, sucked all the tension out of that, but that was a good, that was a good joke. But why was he calling that phone of all places? <laughs> was he just calling all phones? I, I got a question about that. But yeah, dude, like fulfilling the loop. Sylvie coming up because that, again, cements that time flows because it's not supposed to. That's why the slipping is happening. Whatever is going on that keeps the TVA out of the time stream, out of having time is gone. That shows that there is a future that they can't choose, that they are trapped in, which is the thing they tried to break, or at least Sylvie tried to break when she killed Hero Remains. That's why she was upset when he even told her that. She didn't want to believe that that was possible because that means that they're faded and they're trapped again in some kind of way. And they are. And he ended up right there facing himself. She was in the elevator and he was the one, in fact, that pruned himself. A lot of people even called that, and I knew I was from behind. Some people tried to gaslight me and tell me that was her pruning him. But yeah, that whole thing was great, how that came back around. I don't know what happens next. Ravona's deleted, so 
like normal pruning, like we talked about before, there's the possibility she's at the end of time for now, alive. Uh, I don't know if she's got a way back, but she could be there for a time with Eliath. Or maybe we'll run into one of her variants in the future. I don't think she's gone. I think she's probably at the end of the time again. She'll probably survive Eliath. Somebody will get her out of there or she'll get out of there herself and she'll find a way back uh, with even stronger resolve. Or we'll just run into a variant. What even happens next? The loom exploded. The TVA got hit with that shockwave and everything just fritzed out. What happens to the timelines that have been branching? What are the last two episodes of this? My big old question, because this is the end of what this what screeners were sent out to everybody that's reviewed the show. Everything past this point, the two episodes past this point, no one's presumably seen. Like what's next? My, me my best guess is they're gonna wake up where they were meant to be. This will be how Mobius sees the life he was supposed to have. Maybe this will put Loki back in his uh, branched timeline with a whole new perspective, or even will he have his memories intact or no? I don't know. That's the only best guess I can make because we still haven't seen him on a jet ski and I know that's gotta happen. That's gotta happen. And they've been talking about it, talking about it, and they brought it up in this again when Sylvie challenged Mobius about how lightly he has been taking this thing as somebody who's never even bothered to go down there and walk the life or examine the life they should have had. He's approaching this all with a level of detachment that somebody behind the screen, somebody of the TVA could only have. And she was right about that. And we got to pay that off. The only thing I can think of right now is they're going to be just reset. Everything the TVA has done is going to be deleted. Maybe even every timeline they had pruned will go back. Their acts undone because they exist in this weird pocket where they have like a connection to past, present, future on every one of these timelines. So maybe like any interaction they had past, present, and future, if they're gone, never happened. And then any of these variants just live out their days in the timeline. But will they have their memories if that's the case? Or are they just going to be deleted in some white blank slate of a universe? What's, what's, the, what's after this? I don't fucking know. Ah, oh, man, this fr this messed up my brain, dude. Oh, my Lord. There was something I was wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, the flashback the Ravona got with the revelation she used to be He Remains' partner until he used her army, her uh, strategy, all this stuff for the battle to get him to where he needed to be, and then he just cut her out, and that was always the plan and wiped the memory. They ha he had a whole Order 66 protocol that automatically would rewrite the memory of the TVA. Or for all we know, this is the beginning and end of that cyclical point where Loki showed up in the past, the war had just ended, that recording was just created, and she was going back the TVA to give those commands on his behalf after he went back up to his citadel when he was still idolized and on everything because of the war, the fight itself, the establishment of it. And then I assume part of that order was to mask his entire existence now that he's out there. Um, so maybe, like with the Ouroboros, like with his contingency plan for Miss Minutes, maybe there is like part of this is just part of a loop. This is meant to happen. Like, this is the Big Bang. It explodes that uh, birth the universe. It ends it re-expands, and it just goes back out again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I this was going to be one we think about. Can't wait to see the rock stars dive into this one. That's for damn sure. But guys, what did you think? What did you like? What, what did you think of this episode? What are your thoughts? Your theories? How do you feel about some of these payoffs, these revelations? How did you feel about these twists and turns? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you got a memorable channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share Ryan Karen, your correspondent, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Amy Becca, and Casey Wood. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.